Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to do a brief tutorial on tracing. Uh, I, brought, I bought this image in off of Google and I'm going to show you how to trace it and take it completely apart so you can just be creative and do what you like to do um, with this image. So the first thing I would do is go into my trace panel over here on the right hand side and I'm going to select trace. And then I'm going to come back over here and trace this image. Now I'm going to need to trace the first one. It's going to be uh, the outside of this uh, image. And then I'm going to have to do a second trace for the background. So I'm going to go ahead and trace this just the way it is. That looks good and that's all I need. I'm going to take that, move it off to the side. Uh, excuse me, I'm going to move the trace off to the side. And then I'm going to trace it again click on the image, hit trace. And this time I'm going to trace it where it's filled completely in because this is going to be the background. So I'm going to move my threshold over to maybe like 90 till it's completely filled in. So I'm going to say that's like about 92. That looks good to me. So let's go ahead and trace that. Okay, so I'm going to, I would usually delete this because once you trace it, you really don't need the original, but because I use this for training purposes, I'm just going to move it off to uh, the side. I'm also going to delete these, I mean, excuse me, not delete, I'm going to make a duplicate of these two. Um, just in case you mess up, you always want to have a duplicate to go back to. Okay, so I'm going to bring this over here. And I'm going to bring this over here. So for this one, this is going to be the background. And this is the one I'm going to do with actual foil, um, probably a different color. But, you know, for seeing it on the screen purposes, I'm going to fill it in with a color from my panel. And I'm going to go to the color panel. And I'm just going to find a design. These are designs that come in uh, like a default program. Um, you can also just add your own designs designs into these panels if you choose, but I'm just going to use try something, just um, something that looks cute. Okay, so let's go with that pink, and I'm going to also do the outside of pink, or we don't have the red. Okay, I'm happy with that. On this one, the outer one, I'm going to just make this black because when I cut this, it's going to be a black glitter. Okay. I'm going to bring this to the front, right click, bring to the front, and I'm going to move this on top of here. So, uh, with me moving this on top of here, I'm going to highlight the both of them, and I am going to go to Object, Modify, and Subtract All. Now, I'm doing this is because I don't want to, well, first of all, you can't layer foil. That's what I'm going to be using for the back part. Um, if you're using vinyl, you can layer that. Um, but because I'm going to be using foil, I cannot layer. So I'm going to, I did a subtract all, which moves out um, the pieces where this won't lay on top of any of my foil. Okay. So that's really it. I mean... Now, what I can do also, what I like to do, is just say if you wanted to get real creative and you wanted to just do other things with it, um, I would just take this, and I'm using this, I could have used, um, no, I guess I could have used the other one over here, but I'm going to take this, <clears throat> I'm going to put this back over here, and I'm going to take this piece, and then I'm going to cut it here. I'm going to go to my knife tool. And I'm going to cut it. I think I could have got a little closer, but we're going to go with that. I'm going to delete that. Go to my knife tool. I'm going to cut the other side. Of course, you can, you know, take your time to have it a little neater. Um, go back to my knife tool. And um, go here. It changed the color so you can see it better, but... Um, take that off. I'm going to delete it. 
And I'm going to say, maybe I want to make this red. Mm, let's just go with red. Okay. Change that. You changed outline color. And I'm going to put this on top of there. So what I'm going to do is take this piece I made a copy of and I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to release compound path and that just releases all the different pieces that's in this uh, butterfly. So with that I can, I don't really need that background piece anymore. So maybe I could just take, I'm, well first of all I'm going to make the whole thing red so I don't have to do each piece. So I'm going to change the color over to red and then I'm going to bring it to the front so I don't have to do each piece, bring each piece to the front. So then you can just kind of do what you want with this thing. You can, you know, take it apart and, and kind of use just the different pieces. Just say if you want to, you know, take this piece here, you can go there with that. Um, you can go over here. Um, let's just say maybe use this piece. Oh, I didn't grab it. Uh-oh, okay. So let's go with this piece here. Okay. All right. And then you can kind of mess with it and fit it in there the right way. Okay, and then I'm going to go with this other side here. Right there. Okay, I mean, I think you get the gist of it. It's just kind of messing around with it, whatever you think looks good to you. I mean, it's just about being creative. If you want to put a bunch of different pieces in here, you can put a bunch of, you know, different pieces in here, whatever you like. Um, this is what I love doing, just taking images apart and, you know, figuring out creative ideas to, to do different things to it. So that's the whole gist of it. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please comment below and um, just follow me uh, as I do uh, many more uh, videos to come. I hope you enjoy. Thanks.